guys, it's me, Sylvia, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, I always do this little dance. I have to. I don't know why. I feel like it goes with to my channel. I don't know. Anyways, today's video is going to be testing out all NYX makeup. Now, I have tried NYX out before, a few products here and there, but I did try to pick a lot of the products that I have never tried before so you guys can get my thoughts. This video has been highly requested. You guys want to know what I think of NYX, and I'm about to tell you. So I did my full face using this one brand. There were some products that were misses for me. If you want to stick around for that, you know, find out what not to buy from the brand, then just stay tuned, or if you just want to figure out how to do this makeup look then I'll let you know as well. Now, if you don't know, NYX is a pretty affordable drugstore makeup brand, widely accessible, pretty popular, but I wouldn't say that they're like the most affordable drugstore brand, you know? I feel like they have some products that can be a little pricey too, but for the most part, they're pretty affordable. Now, before we get started, if you're not subscribed yet to my channel, make sure you subscribe. I drop two videos a week and you don't want to miss out. And if you missed it, last video I announced that I will be shouting one of you guys out in my videos from now on. All you have to do is be very active in my socials and you'll have a higher chance of being featured in my videos. Video and make sure you watch the video the whole way through to make sure you're not missing out on who is getting shouted out because it could be you. And without further ado, let's get started with the video. So I'm going to start out with my eye makeup today first. I know I never do my eye makeup first, but today we're doing it just to switch things up. We're going to start out with their eyeshadow base. It's like a mousse consistency, kind of creamy. Yes, very creamy. Whoa, that's so pearly too. So I feel like this is really just to intensify bright colors as a base and then you apply it over top of the white. It'll make them a lot more vibrant. You don't have to use as many layers of the eyeshadow. Yeah, it says for a hundred times more vivid color. I just assumed it'd be an eyeshadow primer. Yeah, that's like so bright. Oh, I'm just gonna apply and then blend out with my finger because I don't want it to be as white. Yeah, I feel like I played myself. I definitely should have just used a regular eye primer when I realized that this was just a base to make colored eyeshadows more vibrant. I'm actually gonna wipe that off and just put a regular eyeshadow primer on before I go in with that just because it doesn't feel like it'll do too much to actually prime my lids and I want to give this eyeshadow a fair shot. So now I'm just gonna go in with my own MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot to prime my lids. I'm just gonna use some transparent tape to catch any of the fallout and make sure we have a nice cleanup, make it a lot easier. You really want to make sure that if you do this technique, you should just stick it onto your hand a couple times so it loses a little bit of the stickiness just because this area is so delicate you don't want to be pulling so for eyeshadow I grabbed two palettes this is the cosmic metals palette it's all shimmers and this is the lid lingerie palette and it's all matte so I thought these would be perfect together to make one eye look so this is the lingerie palette we've got a nice highlight matte shade there with this is like a purpley kind of mauve shade yeah I'll quickly swatch them all these are swatching really really pigmented not too chalky this one would be a really nice transition shade and then this last one is like a deep plum and it is so, so gorgeous. It's like a mahogany. And then the NYX Cosmic Metals. Let's swatch those guys. They're kind of like in the same realm of shades. They're very, very similar. The first shade is like a beautiful champagne. Then they have more of like a bronzy kind of coppery one. And then there's a cool toned purplish gray shade. And then there's like a peachy one and then a plum shade. And of course the gold. So I'm gonna start out with this shade right here just to highlight my brow bone. I will say from the swatches though, this is the shade that kind of was the most underwhelming. You just have to give it a couple layers. I don't think it's bright enough to highlight too much, but I think it would be really nice just to set the primer as well. So I'm gonna go in with these two shades kind of as a transition color. I'm gonna place that right underneath my brow bone and above my crease. So mixing those two colors together is giving me the most perfect like orangey, warm toned brown shade. I love this. It's applying really, really nicely. I didn't have to use too many layers and the color is showing up. Just lightly taking that color back and forth on my brush. And as there's less and less shadow on your brush, you can bring that more up towards your brow and that just will blend outwards. So then there's no harsh lines, it's very soft. Now I'm just gonna spray my brush before I go in with the next shimmery shade. And this is with their matte finish setting spray. They had a dewy setting spray too, which I thought was really cool. So I grabbed the matte one because you guys know I'm oily. I like my face matte. But now you know there's the option for dewy as well. So now I'm gonna go in with this plum deep berry shade here. I'm just applying that all over my lid. So beautiful. I do kind of wish that their palettes had a mirror though. I'll just use one of their compacts that have a mirror in it. So definitely wetting your brush gives you such a nice intense color. Now I'm just taking this purpley shade right there and I'm gonna run that along my crease just to blend out that harsh line and really blend it nicely into our transition color. So now for the other eye, I'm gonna go in with that eyeshadow base just to see if it will make that shimmery plum shade any more vibrant. But normally I'll use like a white base like this for like pastel, like bright yellows or turquoise or blues. Since we're doing more of like a dark plum, it might not have too much of a difference. 
Do you guys see a difference? Okay, I'm gonna say I see no difference after using that white eyeshadow base, but I definitely will keep this around for more pastel colors. So I'm loving the eyeshadow so far. We're gonna move on to eyeliner. I grabbed this. Look how funky that looks. It looks so cool. It's like curved. It says it's ideal for pure beginners and anyone who shies away from liquid liner. It's supposed to be easier to apply since it's curved. Up to 14 hours of wear. It's quick drying, smudge proof, no feathering. Whoa, it kind of feels like awkward because it's curved. You have to position position your hand differently. I am not used to this. Well, the point is actually kind of hard, so it's a little bit pokey. Maybe I have to shake it, but the product is kind of struggling to get to the tip. It is a super jet black. I really like that, but the applicator, I don't know if I'm feeling it. The tip is very, very long. It's very hard. It doesn't really move, so it's hard to get it to go along the curves of your eye. I just have to say this is a miss for me. That's okay. There's hits and misses with all brands. That's why I do these one brand tutorial testing out type of videos. Yeah, it was just difficult to use. I just wish the liquid would come all the way to the tip of it, and I wish the tip was a little bit more flexible. So I grabbed another jumbo eye pencils to test out. This is in the shade Oyster. This is it swatched. It's like a cream consistency. I don't think you can twist it and maybe you can sharpen it, but I'm not too sure about that. So that could be an issue down the road since it's a cream. It'll definitely get duller. Ooh, but that is so beautiful. This gives you like an instant highlight. That is so beautiful and so blinding and it took like two seconds to do. This would be really beautiful to use as a cream eyeshadow as well, but I love this particular color as just an inner corner highlight. So this is a hit. I don't know why I thought this was the lid, but I just went and completely destroyed the pencil. So next up is mascara. I'm gonna be using their Voluptuous Mascara. They had a ton of options for mascaras. I kind of just went in blindly and chose one. It's supposed to give you volume and define your lashes and that's what I like in mascara. So hopefully it will do that. So you got a really, really big wand. This mascara isn't really wowing me. It's kind of hard to use because the bristles are so big, especially on my lower lash line. I'm having to use a lot of layers for it to actually get my lashes looking how I want and they're still not quite there. So next up, I'm gonna just apply lashes. I don't have any NYX lashes. Lashes, so I'm gonna apply my own be right back so my false lashes are now on and I will say another thing about the mascara It actually didn't lift my lashes enough So I found it very difficult for my natural lashes to blend in with my false lashes using that mascara Because my natural lashes were still like pointed down and straight so for primary I'm using their pore filler I have used this before I love it for my t-zone Especially to help fill in my large pores and keep my face matte and my makeup long wearing It's a very very thick consistency. So if you don't like like that in your primers, you're probably not gonna like this one. But if you like like an immediate matte look to your skin, this does that. And if you have a lot of texture, it's gonna help to fill that in and to just make it look a little bit smoother and give you a smoother base for your foundation. Now for foundation, I have never tried their Stay Matte, not flat foundation, but I like the sound of it. So we're gonna try it out today. Definitely in an in-between shade between ivory and nude. So I'm gonna mix those shades and try to get my color. It's covering up all of my acne very easily. It's super full coverage. I don't even think I'll have to go in with a second layer in any of my problem areas. Areas, but if you like something less heavy, then it's probably not gonna be for you. It is matte, but you can see it still has a very natural kind of shine to it, which I really, really like. Next up, I got one of their color correctors. It is in the shade Light. This light peach shade should be perfect to conceal that like deep purpley brown discoloration on my under eyes. It's like a very thin consistency, so it's very easy to blend. I really like the feel of that. It's so lightweight, I like don't even feel it on my under eye. So it should be okay getting covered up by the concealer. Sometimes when color correctors are too thick, you can can't cover them up for the life of you. For concealer, I got their HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. It's got a doe foot applicator, which I like. Very easy to apply. Concealers usually have a doe foot applicator though. It doesn't really say on it if it's full coverage or anything like that, so I guess we'll find out. I'm just gonna blend that out with my beauty blender. I'm putting on a second layer because for me it was a little bit too lightweight and it looks like it is buildable because that definitely added a little bit more coverage. I really like that concealer. It kind of reminds me of Too Faced's Born This Way concealer. Now I'm gonna finish up my under eye before we do anything else with my face makeup. I'm gonna go ahead with that shade we use as a transition, mixing these two colors. We're just gonna bring down the smokiness in the same order we did it on our upper lid. Now I'm taking this deep matte plum shade and I'm gonna put that right close to my lower lash line and smoke it out into that other shade. So now my eyes are completely done. Let's move on to my brows. I'm gonna use their three-in-one brow pencil here. It's supposed to have a pencil, a powder, and a mascara to set your brow hairs. There's like all these different compartments. So I guess that is is the powder. I feel like this sponge tip would just be way too thick. On this end, we have the pencil. That's a very thick tip for a pencil. So I'm just gonna go in with the pencil like I normally would. It's not 
getting in between the hairs, it's kind of just pushing on top of them. So it's hard to get the product right onto my skin, which isn't letting me imitate little brow hairs. Okay guys, I gave it a shot. I can't, I can't use this for my brows. It'll just make them way too thick. For the rest of it, I wouldn't normally use something like this on my brow hairs anyway. I really feel like this brow product is meant for you if you have very sparse, very light brow hairs, because it's all meant to kind of thicken and make your brows more prominent. I don't need that. I just need a little bit of finessing. So now I'm gonna move on to their micro brow pencil, which is definitely way more up my alley. Very thin pencil tip. I can get right in between my brow hairs and create tiny little strokes. I would never be able to create a sharp tail with the other brow pencil. My tail would have been that thick. I'm really liking this brow pencil. And I'm just gonna use the spoolie brush on the end to kind of brush it out and help the product blend into my hairs. So both brows are done, and now I'm gonna be using their NYX Eyebrow Shaper. I've never really used a pencil brow setter before. It's like waxy. Let's give it a go. You're supposed to just set your brows into place. It's taking away a little bit of the brow product off my brows. I'm gonna just brush it through with the spoolie because it's kind of getting stuck on my brows and not dispersing evenly. But when I use the spoolie, it is helping shape my brows a lot easier. Next, I'm gonna use this really cool highlight and contour stick by them. It's called their Wonder Stick. So I'll apply the contour first. It's a very gray kind of contour, so I'm a little worried. You do want a certain amount of ashiness to your contour, just not too much because then it looks like dirt. And now let's place the highlight. I really like the shape of this. I'm gonna place this on my under eye. This is in the shade light medium, by the way. So hopefully this helps to brighten my under eye because my concealer was pretty much the same shade as my foundation. I'm gonna actually use the KKW Beauty brush because I actually really like this brush. It does such a good job, like so quickly too. It is just a little bit too gray for me, but it is very easy to blend out. And for the highlight, I'm just gonna use my beauty blender. And the cream is very lightweight that if you do make a mistake or you add too much like I kind of did in the contour, you can just blend it out. So final verdict on this product, I actually really like the highlight part of it and it's very easy to apply, easy to blend out, great formula. I just, my personal preference would be for it to be just a little bit of a warmer contour. But I can just adjust the contour a little bit by adding some bronzer and warming it up a bit and then it'd be perfect for me. So next up, we're gonna apply blush. I'm using their shade Amber. They had a lot of different colors for blushes. Didn't have to apply too much to get that color payoff there. Now I'm just gonna try and blend it because I don't want too much. It's really pretty though. Hmm. I like their blush. Now, believe it or not, I forgot to get a highlight from NYX. If you know of any good ones, comment down below so I can try it out. For now, I'll try out the Jouer Citrine Highlighter. Oh, yes. This is so blinding. Powerful stuff. A little goes a long way. Now moving on to lips, I'm gonna try out their Extreme Shine Lip Cream in the shade Natural and also their Lip Liner in the shade Natural. Their lip liner is very creamy. It glides right on. I'm not too sure I like this nude shade though. It's a little bit too purpley gray for me. Oh yeah, look at that pigment. This is a beautiful nude too. It kinda smells like crayons. I really like their Extreme Shine Lip Cream. It's so shiny and very pigmented. I love this shade. This alone is kinda too purple, but together, I like it. I'm gonna finish up with their matte finish setting spray. So that is my full face using NYX products. I am not surprised that I actually enjoyed a lot of the products because I've tried NYX products before. But of course, just like any brand, there are some misses as well. Like I wasn't really a fan of the first eyebrow pencil or this brow wax pencil here, but definitely not disappointed. If you are looking for a good drugstore brand, NYX definitely is up there with one of my favorites. I'm sure you guys have tried NYX before. I wanna know what products are your favorite from this brand so then I can pick them up if I haven't tried them yet. Let me know down in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you missed my last upload, all you have to do is click the box down below to watch it. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Bye. I look amazing. Everything is so hard to open. Hello darling. That was the ugliest accent ever. I can't do accents.